Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos or seeing my face, welcome. I'm glad you found my channel. I don't know how you did, girl, but welcome, okay? Um, today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. Um, in the last video I did, I just did my face and, you know, on camera. But this video, you get the whole shebang. You get the eyes, the face, the lips. You don't get the brows because... I don't think you guys want to see the brows. I mean, if you do want to see the brows, I do have a brow video showing my drugstore and my higher end products doing it on my channel. But if you want to see like a different, you know, updated maybe brow tutorial, let me know that down in the comments below. But today we did everything on camera. I didn't do the liner on camera because I was kind of testing something out and it kind of didn't pan out. It kind of did, kind of didn't. Like if you was looking at me from afar, you'd be like, oh, that's cute. But like if you was looking at me up close, you might be like, oh, sis, chill. Chill up, chill the fuck out because you, what was you doing? What was you trying to do? I don't know what you were trying to do, but try again, stink. Um, but everything else I did on camera besides the liner and the brows, okay? So if you guys are excited about this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And without further ado, I'm done rambling. Well, for right now, for the intro, because I'm about to talk and the video. Um, then <laughs> let's get started. We are going to be doing the face up first today. So I got my edges laid. They're probably gonna be messed up by the time we get through today. I actually put a wig on because I just use edge control. I didn't use any gel or anything. Got my hair bobby pin back. So we rolling, okay? So let's use the, is it Murad or Murad? Whichever one. Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. The little eye cream. Make sure you go around on your eyelid too because you don't want a moisturized under eye and then a Sahara eyelid. So just make sure you do that but be careful because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to get this in your eye. And if you do, I think you're supposed to like rinse your eye or flush your eye or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the No Pore Bloom Prime Essence. I don't really know why I always look at this. Like, I don't know what it's called, but I definitely know what it's called because I use it enough. Well, you guys know I use it often. So I don't know why I act like I don't know what it's called. Okay, and then for primer, I'm going to take my little mini Tatcha Silk Canvas. And I still haven't bought the original one. Well, not the original because this is the original. This is just the small one. But I still haven't bought the regular size one because or I still have some of the mini. So why am I going to spend, what is it, 50 bucks on a primer when I have the small one that came in my little set and it's still kicking. Okay, now I feel like you guys are like close enough. I don't know why we had you guys so far because I feel like you guys were really far at first. I'm gonna be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. Boom, yes, I never get, I get this scale mixed up in the shade Copper 515. I might need a little bit more. This was just, I think this was like a little under one pump, but we'll see. I'm not gonna add any more because I'm obviously gonna highlight and conceal and all that. So I'm gonna hold off on adding more foundation unless I feel like I absolutely need it. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso. I'm gonna keep this out and then I'm going to take my suede match stick which i never seem to use because i mean it's not my favorite i'm gonna take that around my mouth because thicker obviously it's a cream okay so i'm going to blend out my contour with my sigma f79 yes concealer blend kabuki i'm gonna also use this brush i probably should have used this first but i'm gonna use this to blend out the lighter shade Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more foundation since I really didn't add much in the first place, just so my face isn't too light. 
and the highlighter doesn't take over I am gonna add highlighter um, under my eye more under my eye but it's gonna be liquid so we're gonna blend this out I'm gonna go do my brows off of camera and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna come back with you guys to sets and you know finish everything else Okay, my brows are on, and I used my Benefit Precisely My Brow. I did pick up another one of those, and I got a different color. I used to use the color 4. This is the color 3.5 or 3.75. Yeah, 3.5, and I really like this color. Like, it's just dark enough, but not, like, too dark. A plus. So, I'm going to take my Fenty Concealer. This is in the shade 410. Okay, so I just went ahead and zhuzhed up my contour and contoured my nose. So everything is good everything is cohesive let me pat out down here because i don't know that was looking wonky okay so now i'm going to take cashew from fenty and set my under eye Do I want to reverse contour or do I not want to reverse contour? Do I need to shave? Probably cut the razor down there, but that's not what I'm discussing right now. Okay. I'm going to leave the reverse contour alone until I actually go in and do my bronzer and all that. So, you know, I don't want no problems. So, I'm going to jump into the eye. Let me just pat this out powder under my eye because I'm using color today so let me so for eyeshadow today I'm going to be taking the revolution and Tammy what is this the tropical carnival eyeshadow palette I have not used this in so long but I've been doing a lot of neutral looks and I'm not feeling that right now I'm trying to do something cute something colorful it's the beginning of the year so <laughs> let's get together I'm gonna take this LA girl pro concealer because it's a little bit lighter a lot of bit lighter and I want my eye to like pop okay so I'm going to take this yellow shade right here and pop that in my crease I'm kidding, not my crease. This will be my transition shade. <laughs> okay, that yellow looks really good. It looks brighter on camera that I'm looking like in my mirror, but I'm not necessarily upset with that. Not at all. Okay, so next I'm going to dip into this blue shade right here and I'm going to pop that in my crease. Okay, I'm going to take a clean brush. It's just a little fluffy brush. And I'm going to swoop, whoop, wipe, blend these two shades together so there aren't any harsh lines. 
do i want to deepen up i don't have no color in this palette to actually deepen it up but for the lid i think i'm going to dip into this green shade right here um yeah mm. Yeah, I'm going to use that green shade on my lid. I'm also going to take this deep blue shade. It's not a deep blue shade, but it's, it's a blue and it's a shimmer and it's not sky blue okay i'm gonna dip into that with the same brush and i already wet my brush for that first shade and i'm just going to pop that on the middle of my okay so i'm gonna go off camera finish this eye Pop on some lashes and then I'll be back. Now I'm back. I popped on my lashes. I did add some liner. It's a little wonky, but I digress. It's not important. We're gonna bronze now. I'm gonna take my fancy bronzer in Coco Nadi. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. I love you. I love you too. I'm gonna go ahead and add blush now. So because I have the blue and the green, I'm gonna take this orange shade right here. Even if I didn't have the blue and the green, I'd probably take the orange shade, but that seems like a good legitimate reason to take the orange shade. Look at this blush. This might be a lot. I plan on putting on my purple wig and this seems like OD a lot for the purple wig. Maybe I shouldn't do the purple one, but that's the one that's out right now. So, it's gonna be the purple wig, I don't even care. I don't even care, I don't care. Okay, so I'm gonna spray my face. But it looks so it's gonna dry down so this is not gonna be like it's final you know business but don't want to put on highlighter I feel like I should put on highlighter because I don't know it just seems right I'm gonna use this Desi and Katie X dose of color dose of color X Desi and Katie highlighter in fuego This is my favorite highlighter. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's the wrong thing. I separated all my stuff. I got a new desk, guys. And we're pretty lit. Okay, I'm going to put some. This is definitely eyeliner. But bear with me. Okay, do I want to do a lipstick or what? So I have this So Me lipstick from MAC, my favorite. I'm going to put this one and then I'm going to put on 
a lip balm over top of or should i do a lip balm first i'll do a lip balm first because this is pretty dry this is a shea moisture shea butter and no coconut hibiscus shea butter lip balm lip balm and she kind of made several points like i'm not gonna lie points were made and she did that works for me but i also feel like I need to put a gloss over top of it because it's not exactly what I needed. So I'm gonna put this Morphe gloss. The gloss did exactly what I needed it to do, and I'm happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead. So my whole face is done. Is it done? She's done. My whole face is done. I'm going to go ahead and slide back pop the wig on or whatever you know come back regroup and then i'll talk to you guys okay so this is the finish look and i popped on la synthetica bay or whatever i love this little wig it's a bobby boss wig it's been holding me down for like two years okay she's been good to me i don't have to do nothing to her besides throw on i threw a little bit of concealer in the part because she was a little undefined today but like other than that she pretty much just shows up and does what she needs to do she don't really need much attention okay so i threw her on it is a lot of color going on it's a lot going on in this little situation but i love it it's a vibe it's a look it's a i didn't come to blend into the background i came to be in the front row okay but I love it. If you guys like it and you didn't already give this video a thumbs up, make sure you do that before you go. And subscribe if you didn't in the beginning because you're phony. But yeah, like I always tell you guys, I'm your girl Tiffany. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.